Hi, I'm Terry from Corgi Canada. In this brief video, we'll show you how to calibrate the sensitivity of the EM9550 balancer. All right, to do so, we will need an average sized wheel. Average could be 14, 15, 16, nice round wheel with a tire on it. Provided the assembly is nice and round and not extremely out of balance, we'll be fine. The only reason we need that is to provide inertia once the spun has begun. All right? So, with the 9550, again, you have a number of buttons available. This one right here serves two feature, uh, functions, accesses the different variables, modes in your machine. The one with the arrow pointing out means exit. Now. If I keep my finger on that menu button for about five seconds, three hidden modes will appear. In a, in a separate video, we did the calibration of the external width measuring sonar. In this one, we will access here weight sensitivity, all right? Prior to doing so, however, we would like that average size wheel to be balanced to zero. So I will install the wheel to the machine and balance it to zero. Now, you may be asking, how on earth can I balance a wheel to zero if my machine's out? That's fine. I'd like it to be, let the machine think she did a good job, balance it to zero, and then using the supplied calibration slug, we'll be teaching the machine what this is. Now, bear with me as I balance this wheel to zero. It's recommended that you keep this wheel. Make it your, your benchmark, make it your reference wheel so that you can check your balancer a few times. Now, calibration is usually, well, definitely required at first startup and highly recommended approximately twice a year. If ever you have a number of comebacks or you question the accuracy of your machine, you can calibrate. So, having this zero wheel on our balancer at this point, we access the weight sensitivity calibration by depressing and keeping your finger on the menu button. Again, up or down, selecting weight sensitivity, accept. It is now saying Cal Go. So the first thing I do with this zero wheel is drop the hood. We'll be running a total of five spins, one with the zero wheel, second spin with the slug in this direction. You'll notice both ends of this calibration slug is threaded. We referred in a separate video to what I call machine top dead center. There is only one threaded hole on that hub. So you screw the calibration slug into that threaded hole with the heavy end towards the machine. Heavy end towards the machine. Spin number two in progress. Look closely at the screen. By the way, the machine's stopping and locking at the right place for you every time. It's asking me now to take the heavy end from the inboard side, flipping it towards what I'll call the outbound side. So. Calibration slug coming out, as previously installed, I just flip it over, thread that in now. And once I close the hood, the machine will do three spins like this. So be patient. We may have a tendency to want to open that hood as the wheel slows down, but don't. What's happening now, it's actually doing three spins at the machine's three different rotation speeds. There are actually three speeds in this machine. It does one, two, three spins at 
each at those uh, different speeds. You'll know you're done when it says end cal. Boom. That's all. Remove your slug. Store it in a safe location. With your little plastic end caps to protect the threads. And if at all possible, keep that reference benchmark wheel somewhere in your shop. Thank you.